Hello everybody, I'm Victor Grumblood, and welcome back to another Yu-Gi-Oh! deck profile, profile for Insectors. Now this is based on the January 28th, 2019 ban list, which honestly I'm really happy happened. I'm really happy with what happened. Uh, I'm not going to go over the effects of all the monsters, of all the Insectors at least. Uh, they did that in my previous video. But... Uh, some of the other kind of random choices I will be going over a bit more in depth on what they do. So first off you have the of course one copy of Insector Dragonfly the main cut of the deck and now thanks to the man list three copies of Insector Hornet which is absolutely amazing it really helps with the consistency you only need to see one of these but having three in your deck Makes it a lot more likely that you will see three of the, or uh, one of them. Uh, three copies of Insector Centipede. It's the searcher, of course. You need the three. Uh, one copy of Giga Mantis and one copy of Giga Weevil because both of their Monster Reborn effects are hard once per turn, so you have two of them. Uh, three copies of Insector Ladybug still. This is just because it's another one that can just get itself off the board. Uh, I think, I don't believe this code was in the deck before, it's one copy of Insector Firefly. Uh, when an Insector, when an equipped card is equipped to him, you can see all your opponent's set cards. And, uh, most importantly, he is a level 1, so you can special summon him off out with Dragonfly and then just make Link Karibo with him. Uh, next up is the two Soul Eating Overraptors, the same as before. Uh, the two Overtex Quadrilus, same as before. Ultimate Conductor Tyranno for the whole combo. Uh, three copies of Lone Fire Blossom because this deck really needs to see one of your three copies of Olaf Scorpio as quickly as possible. And one copy of Darlington Cobra to summon off of the Olaf Scorpio. Uh, and the next is I currently have two copies of Chaos Sorcerer in here. I will definitely uh, be switching them out for Blackluster Soldier as soon as I'm able to find my Blackluster Soldiers. Uh, he's just a really easy card to summon. Some of your extra deck monsters are lights as well as um, your Performer Power Trick Clown for the Brilliant Fusion play. So you'll have a light in Grave if you're going off. So he's just an extra free summon to continue your Link plays and banish a card. Uh, the one Chaos Dragon Leviath Leviathaneer. Uh, again, you have for him. It's you have a lot of dark monsters in your grave, so you just banish three darks, take out your opponent's hand, and then you can use them for a link or just having a three K monster on the field. Uh, and then you have the one Perform Pal Trick Clown and one Gem Knight Garnet, just for the brilliant fusion play. And that's it for the main, de main deck monsters. Uh, next up is one Insector Axe Vectorhawk, which should come out for another copy of Insector Sword, which I currently have two of. Uh, and then there's one Double Evolution Pill for the uh, Dinosaur Engine, two Fossil Digs to try and get to that engine, one Brilliant Fusion because it's at one now, but honestly I really think one might have actually been the way to go for this deck, because you don't really want to open it in your hand. Uh, one Monster Reborn, one Foolish Burial, and the one Black Horn of Heaven just as a little extra deck monster stopping power. That's it for the main deck. Now on to the extra deck, which is still not completely finished, like set in stone. Uh, there's the one copy of Insector Picafelena. A uh, really good card. I'm thinking about bumping up two in the deck, just for a potential later game, getting some of your resources back. Uh, one copy of Link Karibo, which is the only Link 1 in the deck, for that, uh, for getting an extra Link with uh, your Insector Ant, or Firefly, sorry. Uh, right now, I still have three copies of Proxy Dragon in here, which you need, one would be good, two is a maybe, three is too much, honestly. I just haven't gotten around to looking through all my different Link monsters to get something else for it. Uh, then there's one copy of Nightmare Phoenix and one copy of Nightmare Cerberus for the extra Link and protection. 
one underclock taker in case it's needed, one power code talker for link 3, um, I've never actually really made him in this deck, but I'm, I don't know why he's in here, I'm probably going to end up taking him out also. Uh, one Trigate Wizard, really important card, really used a lot for the uh, extra link play. Boilo Dragon, is just kind of a good powerhouse just in case. Uh, my one proxy of Saryuja Skull Dread, because this card is insanely important to help you get to your Dragonfly, uh, or Hornet, or Equip Spell for the combo. And then one copy of the Gem Knight Seraphonite, just because it's needed to be in there for the Brilliant Fusion play, and it's pretty much a, a one card, uh, Orphus Scorpio becomes a one card, uh, so you just call Dread with this deck, so really good combo. Uh, that's it for this video, hope you liked it. Uh, I will be doing a, a combo video for this deck specifically, uh, so if you have any questions, let me know. Um, actually, I'll actually be recording that right now. And yeah, I hope you all liked the video. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if you want to see anything else. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.